One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Okay. Back down from the top. One, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So a little, uh, it takes a little coordination. All right. But if, if you practice that, um, You'll, you, you'll learn the scale, you know, not just as a pattern, but it will, it will have an additional meaning uh, w with respect to the, the scale degree, right, which is very important for, uh, you know, for, for harmony as well as, as uh, composing uh, melody or understanding melody, right? All right, so if we, if we look at those scales, um, and, and think about the harmony with respect to scale degree, all right? I think, I think all of those, those notes you will find uh, in, the, in the scale, except for the, the C dominant, okay? Because actually that, that belongs to a, a different key, okay? So the, the C power chord, right, you can think of as one, five, one. Right. How about this uh, C major bar chord? Anybody? So, so this is this is one one and five. All right. So the the C major bar chord, what one three and five? All right. Uh, and how about the C, the C dominant chord? <laughs> right, one, three, five, and flat seven. Okay, so the uh, the only note that you won't find in that scale uh, is the flat seven. Okay, because uh, it belongs to another key. It belongs to the inst the C seven chord belongs to the the key of uh, to the key of F as opposed to the key of, uh, of C. Uh, anyway, so that, that's how, you know, a basic theory of harmony uh, works, right? Is we, we divide out the intervals of the scale uh, in terms of one, three, five, or one, three, five, seven, uh, and build chords uh, from those notes, okay? So, if we, we play the scale, right? Okay, so if we skip, skip notes and just play the one, the three, the five, and the seventh notes, we get a C major seven uh, arpeggio, right? All right, uh, if, if you're you know, for just a regular triad, don't worry about the seven. Just, just try uh, one, three, five, one. Okay, so those are the basic tones of the C major chord uh, played in stepwise, okay? The only problem is we, we can't make a chord out of that because some of the important notes are, are happening on, on the same string, right? So what we do for this chord, uh, all right, since we can't play the three and the five because it's on the same string, we move this three up an octave, okay? So we get this, we double the one, double the five, and actually triple the one, okay? Uh, so when we, when we construct chords, uh, we have to move the tones 
of, of the arpeggio around a bit, right? It's different from piano, right? Because the piano just goes one, three, five, seven, eh, you know. They don't have to move the, the tones around, okay? Uh, they don't have to deal with, with, oh, this note is on the same string. How do I, how do I get around that, right? Um, but uh, we have an advantage because our chord looks the same in every key, right? A C major, B major, B flat major, A major. All right, we don't even have to look. Okay, on piano, uh, they have to change every time. Okay, change their fingering. Um, so, right, so C, C power chord, C major chord, and C dominant chord. Uh, do, does anyone have any, any questions about that before we, before we move on uh, to the jazz chords? I know it's a lot of information. Uh, yes, yes, sir. The, the dominant chord uh, that, that you might know as, as just uh, seven, okay? Like if you've ever seen just C7 or G7, that's, that's, we refer to that as a dominant chord. All right, the, the C dominant chord is, is, uh, is spelled C, E, G, B flat, right? Uh, and the only difference between that chord and a major seven chord is that it has a flat seven or minor seven as opposed to major seven. So it's like a major chord with a minor seven, all right? Any other question? Yeah. Okay. So, jazz chords, right? Um, so the main the main difference uh, in in jazz chords, and I've I've dealt with this and thought about this for a number of years. Yeah, and I've heard a lot of uh, different theories on on chords, uh, jazz chords. But mainly, what what we like to do, especially as guitar players. Uh, is instead of doubling notes, uh, we, we, we don't like to double notes, right? We like to conserve our notes, right? So jazz chords, as opposed to, to doubling the one, doubling the five, uh, we, don't like, we don't like to do that. In fact, we don't, we don't even like to put the one or the five in the chord because... Uh, we know that the bass player is going to be playing those notes, right? So we think of it as a waste of notes to play the one or the five, uh, you know, unless you're playing solo, which then, then you'll want to hear those notes. Um, so what we like to do uh, is we like to build chords off of the, the thirds and the sevenths, uh, scale degrees um, because actually we call those the, the guide tones thirds and sevenths and uh, because the third and the seventh is all you need to get the sound of the chord right um, does anyone know why no Okay, the reason why is, is because the one and the five, uh, you know, generally between major, minor, and dominant, uh, it never changes, right? It just stays the same, all right? So I'm gonna play a C major chord, okay? I'm gonna play a C minor chord. Okay, I'm gonna play a C dominant chord. Okay, so for, for all of those chords, the, the one and the five don't change, right? Um, and we don't use the words major or minor or dominant to describe the one and the five, okay? Because, uh, it, it doesn't have anything to do with uh, the chord quality, right? What determines the chord quality, what does change 
are the thirds and the sevenths, right? Okay, so I'm gonna play a C major chord. All right, and that, that has the, the major third from this major scale, all right? Uh, to get to a dominant chord, I'm going to lower the seventh, okay? So, uh, or I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play a minor seventh, okay? Because that major chord doesn't have a seventh. Um, okay, uh, then to get to a minor chord, I'm gonna lower the third and lower the seventh, right? Okay, so basically just, just to review that, um, you know, the differences between, between major seven, dominant seven, and minor seven, right, is a major seven chord has a, a major third and a, a major seventh, right, meaning that it, it belongs to the, the major scale, okay? Just like, just like this scale, if we take out the one, the three, the five, and the seventh from this scale, we'll get a major seven chord, right? Uh, the C dominant chord, the C7, uh, has a major third and a minor seven, right? So we, we lower the seventh, okay? Uh, and the, the minor chord has a minor third and a minor seven. So it's these, these thirds and sevenths that change from chord to chord and determine the, the chord quality, whether it's major or minor or dominant or diminished or half diminished or augmented, et cetera, okay? Uh, any question about that? Yes, sir. All oh, right. Yeah, we we haven't we haven't quite gotten there just yet. We're getting there. Okay, we're just up to the 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 seventh chord. All right. I, I think we we've, we've done enough about that though. Um, so I think yeah, now would be would be a good time to talk about those those uh, ninths and elevenths. Right. Okay. So first of all, just to demonstrate that, just using guide tones. Right. Uh, so. Does everyone know this chord, the C major 7 chord? Okay. Uh, well, this has a, a 1, a major 7, a major 3, and a 5. Okay. Now, if we, if we get rid of, you know, the tones that we don't need, the 1 and the 5, okay, we're left... Just this uh, major seven and major third, okay? Or we can play the 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 third down here and the seventh. Uh, yeah, um, and that's all we need, you know. If you you know, if you can imagine that there's a bass note down here. Okay, uh, you know, when we hear those two notes in relation to the bass note, that's all we need to, to get the sound of the chord, all right? Now, that's really lean, you know, two, two notes. So what we like to do is we like to add an extension to that, okay? Uh, in fact, that's why, that's why we like to conserve the notes so we can play more extensions and, and altered chord, altered notes uh, on top of that, okay? So if we, if we go back to that, that third and seventh, okay? Uh, then we can, we can add uh, a nine, yeah? If we add five and nine on top of that, that's a nice, that's a nice uh, a jazz voicing, yeah? 